Mug Mac, this is Yammer Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Newt. I've got a uh, bit my tongue again, so I'm in pain again, and uh, today I only have a little bit of talking to do, unlike last time when I bit my tongue, and I had a lot of talking to do, and then I was in pain for like a week. Um, today I'll only have to suffer for today. Anyway, uh, I've been playing Terraria a lot, like I said. Uh, this this one yeah I've got my uh, my little farm here a lot of exploration I had all of this explored by the time I found like my first house by the way anyway I'm just waiting on uh, this jungle grass to spread so I'm leaving it at my rotten chunk farm which is uh, a beautiful a beautiful thing any hoozle back to kf2 um some fun playing Terraria. I have a lot of fun setting up farms and stuff, like uh, AFK farms, they're really fun. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm in pain! <laughs> I'm in pain, okay? I bit my tongue. It's like, when I bite my tongue, and it's like this. What is... I can't, I can't talk. Um, what it is, it's like really painful to do s sounds. Uh, what it is... Or at least like the t t is. Anyway, it's like the side of my tongue. In like a weird... Like I bit it with my molar, dude. And it hurts. It hurts like heck. It hurts like heck. I'm probably only going to record this episode and then record one tomorrow morning. Just so that I don't have to... I just like headshot him to death with a... Really? Um... I'm, I'm probably only going to record this one and then just get up early tomorrow morning and uh, record another one. Not before, it won't go up before 8 a.m. anyway, but like, you know, whatever. They're late all the time anyway, so. Man, my tongue really hurts, though. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that. <laughs> it's really painful. I don't want to talk. I did a lot of talking earlier with, uh, play D&D. Oh, I play D&D today. That's what we can talk about. Um, yeah, we played uh, played some Dungeons and Dragons 5e, D and D 5e was good. It was good. Um, one of my character, one of my players wanted to die. Oh my god, it's so painful. I can't even like begin to explain. It's like just a constant pain as I talk is the thing. Oh, it's so it's so bad. I'm hoping it's gone by tomorrow so I can record a little bit easier. Um, ow, man. Ow. One of my players wanted to die and start a new character. Um, my original plans were to uh, kill her in like the most brutal and like unforgiving and like sad and like maddening way possible. Uh, in another six or seven ish sessions. Um, was kind of my my plan uh, but she wanted to die now you know we, we talked about it before there's a miscommunication I said hey why do you want to die you want to die like now or do you want to die at the end of this like next arc and she was like oh at the end of the next arc is fine so it doesn't seem like I just died right after making my new character and I'm like okay uh, she misunderstood what the arc was and uh, it ended up being a little bit longer than she wanted and uh, she was like, "Hey, I want to die now. I don't, I don't really want to like wait another like six or seven sessions. Like that's gonna be like months and months away. Like I want to play this new character now." And I'm like, "Very reasonable. You can die whenever you want. I don't, uh, I don't get to control that, you know." Um, so I had to figure out how to to fit it in. It was honestly kind of hard. It's kind of hard. Uh, it was like stressful too. I like a lot of pain. Um, it was stressful because I couldn't really like plan too much through the uh, like in the world in the campaign um, before she died because I had to get a feel for her character and uh, how she works in combat and all that and how like all the balancing and stuff is gonna happen and 
Like we're getting a new character. We have to, I want to make sure that I'm I'm balancing the game around that character, not the old one, because then the the party might either not enjoy it because it's too easy, or they'll all get you know TPK'd, right? Or it'll be like just unforgivingly hard or whatever, right? Like I want to make sure that it's balanced for this character and, and how she plays this character, right? Um, and I want to make sure that the role play and and everything is is made for for this character, right? Not for the old character, for this one. So I was like, well, you know, I can't really like make the whole campaign until this new character is made and like running and alive, and then I can start to to plan out uh, more stuff. So I was like, yeah, I really don't know what's gonna be going on. And then I didn't know how to like do it. I didn't know how to kill her. Because they just finished a, um, like a dungeon -y area, and they came out, and there's no danger nearby. <laughs> there's nothing nearby, and, like, they've already verified that, and, like, everything's been, like, you know, they're, they're, they're in a safe area, you know? I'm like, I have no idea how I'm gonna take you from, from, like, this to you're dead now. She also wanted it to be, uh... Yeah... Uh... In, in a noble-ish way, you know? So she, uh... She, she wanted to die, not just like, Haha, I'm gonna jump off the cliff and fall, you know? Like, she, she wanted to, to die trying to accomplish something, or to save somebody or something, you know? Um, so it's like, yeah, I just I have no idea how I'm gonna work this in. I had it all set up for, uh... When they were gonna be leaving. But... Um... For the, uh, for, 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 like, right now, I'm just like, I have no idea. For when they were going to be leaving this, like, area that they're in, I'm like, yeah, I got it. Like, once this arc is over, I know exactly how I'm going to do it, but... Then it all kind of got changed, and I'm like, yeah, I just, I don't know how, how to handle this right now. I have no idea how to handle this. So this is probably going to be a shorter episode, too, because I am in a lot of pain. Um, anyway. So they ended up, uh, killing her off. She, um, she got kidnapped party didn't even notice. Their passive perceptions were too low for them to notice their party member going away. Finally, one of them rolled a, a like regular perception check. And, uh... I was like, yeah, no, your, 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 your party member's gone. <laughs> They're gone. Uh, it took them a while to notice. So they, uh, they followed them over to this, like, uh... pit of snakes where a bunch of hostages, well, not really hostages, but sacrifices were being, uh... Like dropped into the pit of snakes, and there was like drums and partying and, and stuff going on around it. With uh, with these like there was like twenty of them, and uh, there were all these like gobliny things that uh, that I introduced earlier on in this campaign that are like really powerful. You don't want to mess with them, kind of things. So I'm like, yeah, no, they, there there's no way any of them are gonna be attacking these in earnest. There there is just no way. They'd, they'd be doing that because <laughs> they all know they're probably not able to handle even one of them uh, let alone like 20 of them standing there it, it's uh so I'm like, yeah, I don't want it to get into like a fight or anything like that like I want them to, to I want to like force them into uh, you know kind of like railroad it a little bit into uh, into a role uh, role play scenario I'm not a big fan of uh, tra of uh, railroading but when you're like killing a character off and introducing the new one, a little bit of railroading is fine. You know, you have to kill the character. You have to make that happen. So if you can make it happen in a way that feels like it was natural, if they happen to go with the flow, then that's pretty good, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they had to... If we die down here... Um, Time's up. Go kill some Zeds. She had to die. So, um, eventually she got, uh, you know, kicked in the bed. Her, her new character is her, is her old character's sister, and they were both on the, like, Send sacrificial the platform. People. She was like, hey, that's my sister. I would really rather you save her than me, you know? Like, you know, kind of kind of trying to plea with them to, like, get her sister alive instead of, uh, her. You know, sacrificing herself for her sister, which I thought was accomplishing that, uh, noble death that she wanted. Going out in a way that's memorable and... Yeah. 
she did end up getting devoured by snakes, and I described the process in uh, not quite excruciating detail, but definitely in um, enough detail that I, I hope they're traumatized. At least their characters are traumatized. Um, yeah, it's going to be a short episode today. I'm sorry. I'm in, like, a lot of pain. And I don't want to... I don't want to mess it up. Money, anyone? So... We'll just do that. We'll just do that. That's okay. That's okay. But it was good fun. Had good fun playing D&D &D today. Um, we finally played it. I'm finally able to start working on getting the rest of the uh, stuff going. I'm able to start planning the rest of the sessions and all that. They met a whole bunch of like interesting characters through this because I kind of like redesigned how the whole system was working for this specific encounter. So like it's all kind of messed up at this point honestly but in a good way in a good way in a good way um anyway that's gonna do it for today again sorry i'm in a lot of pain um thanks for watching remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say i'll see you next time hopefully i'm not in pain Bye bye